Okay guys, in this tutorial, uh, a step-by-step -step guide on how do you fix your PC ran into the problem and needs to be restarted. And the error code is like paste fault in non-paste area. So if you guys are getting the error like this, you're going to follow the steps in the tutorial. I hope one of the other steps will help you. In case if it helps, you're going to share this video with your friends and family. You're going to choose command prompt and click on that. You're going to choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're going to choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to Press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just keep some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So you just keep some time. Finally, once you're done, you're going to press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're going to type Y for yes and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're going to exit it and now restart your computer. Okay guys, you're going to type the command SFC space slash scan now needs to be together and press enter key. So it will take some time, uh, let it to complete 100% and you are all done. Okay guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes your issue. So guys, here you have this PC here on my computer. You give a right click on it. Click on show more options and here you have a manage. Inside manage, here you're going to click on device manager. And then you're going to search for the graphic driver. So there here are mostly the graphic driver. So you can see here is a display adapter. Click on it and here you have a USD graphic 360 and here you have another. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 graphics. So what are you going to do? Give right click on it, uninstall the graphic driver and then restart your computer and it will install again automatically. Your driver will be installed or click on update the driver. Again, click on a scan for the hardware change. So try this different option. Try it for the, you can do the scan for the hardware change. Give right click on it, update the driver. If these two options do not work for you, what are you going to do? You will disable and enable again. That also do not work for you. You will uninstall and restart your PC. So doing this will uninstall and reinstall. When you restart your PC, it will install your graphic driver again. I hope this fixes your issue. When I click on troubleshoot, I have uh, six different options over here. I will click on a startup repair in the very beginning. So the PC will check for all the necessary repairs it can attempt. See, a startup repair could not repair your PC. Either I can sort down or advance option. Okay guys, hold the Windows key and R in your keyboard. 
it will open this wrong dialog box. You cannot type the command. It's mdschedexe. So this is the command that you're gonna type. It's mdschedexe. And then click on OK. It will come up with another box. It's a dialog box, Windows Memory Diagnostic. So we're gonna diagnose the memory. So you can restart now and check for the problems. Even you have a second option if you would like to choose first any reason. So I'll go with the first options. Restart now and check for the problems. So it will restart your PC and start checking. So it is diagnostic tool for memory. So wait till it gets completed. You can see guys down with one, now it's two of two. So 50% is down, now 50% test is remaining. Okay guys, you can see finally done. Once it is done, it will restart your computer.
So I hope this fixes the issue. Okay, guys, you're gonna go to the search and type advanced system setting. A D V A N C advanced system settings. So you can see here you have view advanced system setting. You're gonna click on it and then you're gonna go to advanced tab and then click on settings. And then after here you have again advanced tab, click on change. In change, you can see automatically manage paging uh, file size for all drive. You can uncheck the box and then click on OK. You're gonna see this message and click on OK. Again, you click on OK and then OK and see if it uh, fix the issue. It's gonna ask you to restart your computer. So restart your computer. Or if you are working with some important thing, you can restart later. But make sure you, you restart in order for the changes to take effect. And then after you're gonna check if the issue is fixed. You're just gonna choose. It's a troubleshoot, and here you have uh, reset this PC. Let's click on that. Keep my files or remove everything. Okay, guys, this will restart your PC, and after restarting, this is what you get. Your account one you use to log in your PC. So if it is password protected, you have to enter the password and click on continue. If it is not password protected just directly click on continue now once you click on continue this is what you get resetting this pc getting the things ready so give us some time and it will get all the things ready okay guys now here it is once it's once uh, it gets ready click on reset You know, this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your PC will be all the way ready to use. So finally, here is your PC all the way ready to use.